Hey, how's it going? I have a uh, classic car I think you'd be interested in. You want to bring around back? Sure. Look at it? All right. I'll, I'll meet you back there. All right, we'll see you then. Come on, Pops. All right. I need another car. <laughs> <laughs> if it's one thing we love here at the shop, it's classic cars. The only problem is the old man always wants to take them home. You got to be kidding me. Nice. Oh, man, this thing looks amazing. It's a 1949 Hudson Commodore 8. Hey, Pops. What? You know what the amazing thing is about this car? What? You're still older than this car. <laughs> OK, son. I came to the pawn shop today to sell my 1949 Hudson Commodore. I bought the car three years ago. Ideally, it would be nice to get 35000 because I've moved, and I'd like the money, so. That's really, really cool. The Commodore was their big luxury car. Yes. What they really advertised was how big this car was inside. It was bigger than anything Chrysler made, Chevy made. Literally, you could, like, camp in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hudson was a big manufacturer, son. They were super big in the NASCAR industry. With their Hornet was faster than hell. They had a lot of innovative ideas. Yeah, they had one of the very first automatic transmissions. Yes. I, I fell in love with this body style. I just love the low profile in the windows. And, yeah, and I've always that. loved it's, cars like this, too. Yes, it's... You know, fat and low. <laughs> <laughs> After World War II, the US went consumer crazy. Everyone wanted a big new car, and the Hudson Commodore was about the biggest thing out there. I mean, this thing is a beast. That's a two-body trunk, son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks really straight. I mean, right in here is usually where you find rust. That's where it, like, just collects. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, I think it's in really good shape. Still got the original hubcaps. That's rare. Yes. This thing is all original, uh, except for a few components in the uh, engine area. OK. Really. Like... Now, that's some technology right there. <laughs> oh, straight eight. So what's this thing put out? like? 98 horsepower or something think, like that? I think it's 125 or something like okay. that. Okay. Oh, yeah. This Hudson's pure class. This is from the day when a car was a piece of art, not some plastic pile of junk. I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, it looks in great shape. Uh, how much are you looking to get out of it? Uh, 35000 Ouch. Dollars? Yes. No. Um, tell you the truth, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Um, I've never had a 1949 Hudson. So <laughs> they sell at auction for I've seen recently fifty seven thousand etc. So you know I, I deal in a lot of cars, but um, car market is weird. I mean it, it's easy to get burned. Yeah. Do you mind if I have someone come down here and take a look at it? That would um, be absolutely fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. I love everything about this car, but there might be just that one little thing I don't know about, and I'm on the hook for a ton of money. These were really ahead of their time back in 49. Very well manufactured cars. They came out of the box, they could break 90 miles an hour. I know it doesn't sound like a big difference, but the fact that this big boat could bust 90 miles an hour, that was, that was a big deal back then. Companies like Hudson were really throwing into the mix aerodynamics, making the car slicker, better performance, lower center of gravity, handled better. Nice car. Good Lord, there's a lot of room in this thing. <laughs> this is huge. And it's beautiful in here. You could easily sit four, four people across on this couch. And it's luxury, man. I mean, this is just beautiful in here. What do you think about it, boss? It's a boat. It you is. You know, I like boats. You just wished it was black, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take it for a drive? Absolutely. Nice. I, I I'd love to just feel this thing going down the road. Do it. It's a sweet ride. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's do this. God, I love how clean this car is. I like how smooth it drives, too, man. It does drive really nice. Clutch feels good. Tranny feels good. How you doing back there, sir? I'm doing fine. All right, all right. You could, you, you, don't, you don't mind being chauffeured around in this, huh? Yeah, well, I got to get you a hat. <laughs> I love it. This is the same car as driving Miss Daisy, right? Really? Yeah. I, I think so, yeah. I yeah, it was. That's great. We're driving Mr. Daisy. <laughs> Where to, Mr. Daisy? <laughs> Home, James. <laughs> yes, sir. I think the car is very sellable. Uh, there is definitely a cult following for this car. And this one is really in nice shape. So I don't think he would have any problems flipping this if he can get it.
So what do you think it's worth? Um, I think in her present condition, which, which I would say is really, really nice, she has a few little minor cosmetic issues. I don't think they're a big deal. I would safely put this car at a solid 25 grand. But my opinion, I'm I was at. thinking around 35,000. So we're, we're not that far apart. I, I, that's where I'm at, brother. All right, well, thanks, man. Absolutely, man. Now that we've heard what Danny has to say, I'm ready to make an offer on this thing. Hudson's don't come around a lot, especially in this great condition. Now, how much do you want for this thing? Well, I guess I'm thinking 25. <laughs> Can I give you 20 grand for it? You got a deal. All right, 20 grand. Should have said 18, Rick. You got to be kidding me. I bought the car for 10,500. We settled on 20,000, and I'm absolutely happy with that.